Hi, welcome back to new lesson. In this lesson, I am going to show you the multiple register transfer, how you can transfer multiple registers data into the memory and how you can transfer from multiple locations I mean from multiple conjective locations. That means how you can load a multiple registers from a memory location. So the load store multiple instructions can transfer multiple registers between memory and the processor in a single instruction. The transfer occurs from the base of the address registers pointed by let's say the RN registers and then it just kept increasing or decreasing with some value and the preferably those values are either 4 or the 2 or 1 and the it is 4 in case of the full word and, and it is the 2 in case of the half word and it is 1 in case of the byte aligned. Multiple register transfer instructions are more efficient from a single register transfer for moving a block of data. Let's say if you have multiple data which you want to transfer between the CPU and the memory. So this type of instructions really help and then, uh, the multiple register transfer increase the throughput of the processors and the performance of the microcontroller also. So let's first try to understand what is the instruction set which we are going to discuss. Those instructions are LDM which is the load multiple and the another instruction is STM which says that the store multiple. And now let's see what is the syntax of the, this type of instruction. The syntax of the, this type of instructions are as follows. We have here LDM or STM and then we have here condition code which is optional and then we have addressing mode which is compulsory and mandatory and then we have here the RN register and the total set of the registers and then here we have a registers okay so let's see how it works so this is the condition code which is the optional and this addressing mode is very crucial here so here we have four type of different uh, four type of different addressing mode to address load store multiple instructions those four type of different addressing mode is increment after and increment before decrement after and decrement before So what does it mean? Let's say if processor has a start address from the RN, then the end address would be the RN plus 4 multiplied by N minus 4, where this N represents that the total number of data is uh, total number of block of the data, which will be the transfer. That's the increment after and the IB increment before the start address would be the RN plus 4 and the end address would be RN plus 4 multiplied by N and decrement after decrement after would be like this RN minus 4 multiplied by N and then plus 4 and the end address would be the RN and the start address would be decrement before would be RN minus it would be the N sorry it would be the RN minus 4 multiplied by N and this end address would be the RN minus 4 this is four type of the addressing mode which we will be using into the multiple load and the store instruction set. So let's try to understand this with an example. So we are going to take an here an example. The example is like this. Let's say the address is stored into register sets that is R0, R1, R2 and R3. 
ओके सो द आर जीरो लेट्स से वी हैव लेट्स से वी हैव आर जीरो इज इक्वल टू जीरो एक्स जीरो जीरो एट एंड देन वी हैव जीरो जीरो वन जीरो एंड देन वी हैव हियर आर वन आर टू एंड आर थ्री आर दीज वैल्यूज आर जीरो जीरो एंड आर थ्री इज आल्सो जीरो जीरो राइट एंड हियर वी हैव इंस्ट्रक्शन विच सोज दैट द एल डी एम इंक्रीमेंट आफ्टर दैट इज एल डी एम आई ए and it has here r0 and this says that the r1 minus r3 this means that it will load it will load the uh, data from the memory address of the r1 r2 and the r3 right so and uh, one more thing let's see what is the data mm. in the memory address pointed by memory address pointed by uh, uh let's say the memory of uh, the pointed by 0x 80018 that is 0x03 and we have here memory 32 0x8 0014 that has a 2 and here memory 32 we have a 0x8 0010 that is 0x01 so in this case what we are having here R zero eight double zero one zero, and in this case, what will happen? The base address register R zero points to the memory address. Okay, so this will points. To the memory address, and the memory address is zero x eight zero zero. One zero. So this is the base address, and let's say we have this something like this, and the base address is here. We have zero x eight zero zero one zero, which increases from one one, one two, one three, and then we have one four, one five. One six, one seven, and so on. So, if you notice that this address contains the data that is zero x zero one, and this address contains the data that is zero x zero two. Okay. So, the first it loads, first it will load the data into R one. and the next byte next word of the data would be loaded into the r2 and the next word data would be loaded into the r3 so what we will say here r1 will be loaded from the memory location address pointed by r0 since it has here exclamation mark that's mean it will automatically increment the address to the next pointing address so the r2 would be loaded from r0 plus 4 and r3 would be loaded from the memory address r0 plus 8 so in this case if you see here the data in r1 after the execution of this instruction would be 0x01 and the data into r2 would be 0x02 and the data in r3 would be 0x03 as you have seen that this data was stored 
this data this data we are stored into the memory locations pointed by this r0 have to pointed by here this address this address and this address right so now if you see here this was the increment after and the similarly if we say that the increment before in case of the increment before it will first increment and then it will load the data so in case of the increment before it will first load the data Let, let's try to understand this if i say here ldm load multiple ib that is the increment before and we say here r0 r1 to r3 so in this case it will load into r1 from the memory location r0 plus 4 very first time and the r2 would be loaded from the memory location r0 plus 8 and if you see here the difference is like this the increment after was like this it was first loaded from this memory and then it was incremented but into in, in the case of the increment before it will first incremented and then it will load the data from the memory address pointed by increment into the r1 and then after the next increment it will load the data into the r2 and then in a third increment it will load the data into r3 so the similarly we can apply here ib and in the same way we can write here ldm decrement after that's the da and the similarly we can say the ldm decrement before that is the db okay and in the same way we can say the store stm store multiple increment after store multiple increment before and store multiple decrement after and we can say store multiple decrement before so these are the multiple um, multiple registers uh, instruction type can be uh, used with these four type of different addressing mode which can be used to either go into the forward memory or go into backward of the memory so this is all about in this video in which we have discussed about the load and the store multiple load and store instruction set we have also discussed about the addressing modes being which is being used into the uh, multiple load and the store instruction so thank you so much for watching this um, video and please do not forget to subscribe this channel so that you can get updates directly into your inbox bye bye have a nice day